Who are the people to watch on the Colts headed into 2024, headed into the season? Who do we think are players that could have massive seasons or step up seasons from past seasons and explode onto the scene? We're going to talk about that and more on this the No Horsing Around podcast. Okay, you guys. So I thought this would be kind of a fun. We're getting to kind of, you guys see on the thing, like we're, we're, we're having fun with OTAs, but we're kind of getting to the time of the year where it's more fun to kind of, speculate and give takes on what we think going in because we it's all what we think it's all what i think it's not what we know nothing is definitive we don't know really anything at this point right so i thought it would be fun to talk about some players on this roster that we think could potentially have breakout seasons Seasons that are of note and a breakout could be a massive season or it could be just like I said in the intro, a step up from what you had, you know, so, you know, the obvious one is always going to be Anthony Richardson. So I don't want to, I don't want to spend a ton of time like that's, yeah, he's, I think everyone believes he's going to have a breakout season because of what he did last year, the short kind of time frame. So I, I, I've i got a caveat on this that I'm not going to count him. I want to give you guys some other people who I think, right? Off the jump, if you're looking at this and you're watching on YouTube, which most of you guys do, you see the cover, you see the thumbnail, you see the center one, which is Nick Cross. Why do I think Nick Cross is going to have a breakout season? I mean, you look at it, you have to remember they moved up for Nick Cross to take him where they did. You know, they moved up to get him because they felt like he had value, he had a skill set. You also have to remember when they took him, how young he was. I mean, when you look back at him, he was starting games in the NFL when he was 21, right? He got drafted when he was 20. And they put him out there. We talked about it on this show. I think I even talked about it with Derek Larger over at Bring the Juice. That we thought that they they kind of wrecked him that year. They threw him out before he was ready, and then they pulled him to replace him. And that had a really big chance of messing with his confidence. And he took time to kind of work himself back in. 2023, he comes back in. He starts kind of near the tail end of the season. Plays okay, you know. Doesn't doesn't have horrible you know outings, and you're kind of sitting here at a crossroads, right? Like it's kind of shit or get off the pot with him a little bit, and you wasted some opportunity last year to to give him some runway to see what he had. Here's why I think he could have a breakout season. One, I think he's uber talented. I think he is. He's kind of on that side of the ball. And don't get this twisted when I say this. He's kind of like the Anthony Richardson on that side of the ball in regards to ton of upside, ton of potential, very raw, very young when they were coming in. And I still think all those things about him. I still think he has a ton of potential, a ton of talent. And on top of that, I think he's going to get that runway this year. Why do I think that? We're sitting here as with the recording of this on May 30th, and the Colts haven't signed as another safety. I think they're probably going to roll with him. I think we could all sit here and go, oh, I want Justin Simmons. Oh, I want uh, Quadra Diggs. I I want these players. I don't think they're going to do it. I I feel like they're going to roll and give them the chance to prove if they can, if he has the talent to do it or he doesn't. And I think that he, you pair him with a Julian Blackman, I I think, I like him. I've always kind of liked him. I think he's got really good potential. So because of the position they're going to put him in, I think he has a a chance to be a breakout candidate. I do. Um, Another one, 
Juju Brents on that side of the ball too. Why is he a breakout? I mean, he had a pretty solid rookie season. I think he's going to kind of continue to evolve. I think he's probably going to evolve into that cornerback one for the Colts. I expect him to play well. He's going to be healthy. I think a lot of people forget. You look at it and you're like, oh, well, he was unhealthy. He got hurt you know, a couple of times and he missed some chunks of time during the season. I think it's even more important to remember that he missed chunks of time during the offseason. Really important, vital time to understand the playbook, to get acclimated into the league and understand what was expected of him. He's coming in healthy this year. He's going to get a ton of leeway, a ton of runway, like I said, with Nick Cross. I see the same thing for him. I think he's going to continue to develop. I got lucky enough last year to see him in person at training camp. He's big. He's long. He's physical. I think he's exactly what you want on the outside. I see him progressing. He is someone to watch this year. Okay? With the caveat of staying healthy, I think he's going to have a very good season. It's just me. Uh, another one to kind of keep an eye on. The the, the Well, the, I'll say the next two are pretty obvious ones that you hear a lot. Uh, one specifically, and I called for it last year, so I'm going to call for it this year again, is I think Jelani Woods is going to have a big year. I, I really do. I thought that last year, obviously he hurt his hamstring, re-injured the hamstring, missed the entire season, right? You just can't teach what he is, which is a 6'7", 253-pound tight end that runs like, I think, a 4'5", or 4'6", right? Like, you can't teach that. And for those who are like, well, it's just his physical characteristics, Stephen. You know, what about what he does? Well, when he was on the field as a rookie, he got targeted 40 times, had 25 receptions, 312 yards, right? And three touchdowns. And those three touchdowns came in one game against the Chiefs, who... If we remember correctly, in 2022, they won the Super Bowl, right? So pretty good team to be up against. I I just mean, you can't teach what he is. Shane Steichen likes to work with the tight ends. He's just like, if you're going to look, and I've heard this said, and I agree with it, if you're looking at the tight end room in general for the Colts, and you're trying to figure out who is that playmaker, who has the potential, that's all we're doing here is talking about who we think, right? Has that potential to be a breakout player and have a big season? It's him. It's his size. It's his speed. It's his hands. It's his explosiveness. It's what you can do with a guy who looks and plays like him. He's the one who I think is going to have a huge season. Okay. Uh, lastly, on this one, Quitty Pay. I think I think a lot of people when Law 2 got drafted, me included, uh, believed that that was an indictment on Quiddy Pay. And it's not an indictment, I think, on anybody. I think that it is more of Law 2 is going to take snaps from Ibukan, not from Quiddy. And if Law 2 is what we think he is, which is a double da- walking in double-digit sacker, right, he's going to draw some. We know DeForest and Grover and Roquan, they're going to draw those. So it's going to free Quiddy up. And if you look at Quiddy's stats, each year he went four sacks, six sacks, eight sacks last year. I expect, I think he's going to get double digit sacks this season. Uh, and I know you're like, well, that's a first round pick. He slowly improved. Is it really a breakout? I think it is if you hit double digit sacks because he's going into that fifth year, uh, fifth year option. They picked it up for a reason. I think he's going to be really good. I think he's going to have a really solid season. So really quickly here at the end, there was a name that I bounded about that I tossed around that I thought maybe I could put on this list. It was Alec Pierce, but I kind of in the end, and you guys can tell me in the comments if you think I'm stupid, I'm not putting him on. Not because I don't think he's not going to have a good season. I coming out of training camp last year, I thought he had great rapport with Anthony Richardson. I thought you could see kind of that deep ball action. My hesitancy with it is I really like Michael Pittman Jr. That's why receiver one. Y'all know how I feel about Josh Downs. That he's the slot machine. He's just amazing. 
I really like A.D. Mitchell. And I think, you know, hot take, I think he's going to win a starting job coming out of training camp. And that's going to be Alec Pierce's job that I think he ends up taking. And I think he's going to have a really good rookie season. Maybe not to the extent of what Josh Downs had last year, but pretty close. And therefore, I can't justify putting Pierce on it because I don't think he's going to have the numbers to be like, oh, he had a breakout season. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the list? What do you think of the players that I'm saying could have breakout seasons? Who are your breakout players that you think? Drop those in the comments. As always, you guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all those great things. Join the family. We love to hear from you. Uh, And I end these things the same way I always have. I love you. I know the Colts love you. I'm out.